Hello friends, Tony Howard here, and I'd like to invite you to a very special course at Astrology University called Intro to Cosmos and Psyche. I've been excited to teach this course for a very long time about one of the most important books of our time, if not uh, the most important astrology books of our time, uh, Cosmos and Psyche, written by Richard Tarnas. In this course over four weeks, we're going to dive into the book, which is famously difficult to read, and make this book uh, more accessible and unveil some of the gifts that this amazing book has to offer, uh, including uh, exploring a chapter on the Saturn and Pluto cycles, which is important right now as I'm recording this in 2020 because we're right in the middle of one of those, which is why we picked that particular chapter to explore. But we'll read the introduction of the book uh, as well, which is full of really rich concepts, rich and layered concepts, and we're going to help you unpack that. I'm co-teaching this course with uh, Saffron Rossi, who is a PhD and knows uh, Richard Tarnas's work very, very well, and she's going to help uh, work help you work through chapter one, so it doesn't so that it doesn't feel quite as inaccessible. Uh, some people report they start reading this book and have have a hard time getting through the first chapter because the language is really academic, and if you're not used to reading that kind of writing, it can feel difficult to get into. Also, Tarnas is layering really rich concepts and ideas on top of each other, so to focus on especially that first chapter, it's it's necessary to understand what he's saying as he's writing these really richly layered sentences hold that concept in mind, and then add on another concept, and then another, and another, in order to finally reach the place that he's taking you. Uh, and that can that's not an easy task. And so we're going to be helping you do that, uh, unpack that, and, and uh, give you some tips and uh, tools to help you uh, take in the really rich message of the first chapter, second chapter, and in the third chapter, uh, third chapter includes one of my very favorite descriptions of the planets and their meanings and archetypal uh, keywords and keyword phrases that of, of any book. Um, you can refer to this book over and over again uh, when you're stumped for inspiration trying to do an, a chart interpretation um, focusing on the planets. Speaking of the planets, one more thing I want to say um, before we wrap up this video is that this book is a great example of why the planets are the most important symbol to interpret in the chart. The book actually stands as an example of how you can do amazing chart work and interpretation using only the planets even without the signs in the houses. I'm not saying that you shouldn't use signs in houses, you should. Um, it's just that uh, if, if we forget that the planet is the core building block, it's the first brick to lay down in your foundation of chart interpretation, which sometimes it's easy to forget. We focus too much on the signs or the houses sometimes. If you remember that the planet is the most important, um, that sets up a good foundation. And this chart, or this book, is using just planets and aspects to do its, its work. When we get into the Saturn-Pluto chapter, it's going to just be using planets and aspects and focusing on the Saturn-Pluto cycle, um, examining both uh, the charts of, of, of um, key figures in history and then also key moments in history. So looking at those cycles and what transpired during those moments in history, and sometimes both. So sometimes we'll start with how a particular figure was born with a particular cycle um, happening in their chart, and then when that cycle repeats again, some important event unfolds in their life. It's pretty inspiring, amazing, uh, jaw-dropping at times. And since we're reading uh, the Saturn-Pluto chapter together during a Saturn and Pluto time, I think you'll find the experience really rich. Um, this is not an easy or light chapter. It's a, it's a heavy chapter. And um, as you might have noticed as I'm recording this video, um, these are heavy times as well. So the, the information speaks to the times. But you'll be working through this material together with a group uh, and with me as a guide to help you process uh, through some of this information, especially some of the heavier information. It's really worth reading in the company of, of friends or, um, or comrades. So uh, definitely 
join us if you're able to. I hope to, I hope to see you in the course. If you're watching this video after we present the course live, no worries. All of the course materials are pre-recorded and I'm also available uh, to you through discussion and email to um, form a kind of a live connection with you as you're working through the material. So um, even if you've missed all the live Q&A sessions, which by the way, there are two, four, six, there are eight live Q&A sessions for this course. Um, but if you miss those, those are all recorded as well. And you can still communicate with me as you're moving through the material. So I hope to see you in the course. All you have to do is click the button to sign up. And until then, take good care.